Hello everybody, my name is Matt, long time no see, and I didn't expect I'd be making this video, but I got up today and I saw on Twitter that something was trending called Sonic Origins, uh, and I was like, ooh, I better record my reaction to this because I had heard rumors about what this could be, but I actually didn't know this was an official thing. Um, I just thought it was one of those things where people were saying, oh, they might do this at some point. But here it is. Uh, I don't know what this is. Uh, I assume it's going to be like a, um, just based on the name alone. Like, I literally haven't, I don't know anything about this. But based on the name alone and the rumors, I have to assume this is some kind of, like, HD packaging or, like, HD remaster of, like, Sonic 1, 2, and 3. Maybe? But, uh, without further ado, let's take a look at it. I want this to be good whatever it is because sonic is uh on a high point right now and sega is known for face planting after being on a high point with sonic so please don't do that sega so here we go in three two one now hyper potions i love that hyper potions is just automatically associated with good sonic games well that was amy are we getting sonic cd too Four! It's gotta be Sonic CD, right? Yeah! Look how good it looks! Oh, Knuckles and Sonic 1! We have to bust out the game gear to do that on the Genesis. Oh, I don't even think he could be in Sonic 1. Just Sonic 2 as Knuckles. Look how good it looks! Yo! What is this? Are they doing? Are they doing animated cutscenes in the games? Oh my god! Hard missions, additional music tracks, character animations, island camera. Oh my god! That looks so fucking good, dude. I haven't played Sonic CD since literally I was a kid. I've replayed 1, 2, and 3 quite a bit, but Sonic CD is one of those where I didn't have it as a kid, so I've only played it at a friend's house once um, all the way through, and then I haven't played it since then, and I I could have emulated it, but I haven't. But, dude, Sonic fans are eating good in 2022. Holy shit, that looks so good. Um, ugh. If you're wondering why I cry about fucking stupid Sonic the Hedgehog, it's because I've literally... I've said this before, but I don't know if people appreciate how much I mean it when I say literally I've had Sonic in my life, like, the whole time. Like, one of my very first vivid memories is being in kindergarten and playing Sonic 2 on my Genesis. And usually, my mom and I would play stuff on Genesis. Like, we played Mrs. Pac-Man together when, we were, when I was a little kid um, and stuff like that. Um, but, and we played Sonic 2 sometimes, um, because you could control Tails independently, which is what I would do because I was a fucking young child. But I, I have a vivid memory of me playing Sonic 2 on my own. Um, my mom was there, obviously. I was supervised, but I was playing and I beat Chemical Plant Zone, the second level, and I was so excited. I was so hyped for it. I was so ex like proud of myself as a, like a little child without really knowing... Like, without ha knowing the words of what it was to be, like, proud of yourself. And I remember being so excited and going into school the next day and telling my kindergarten teacher, I beat Dr. Robotnik in Chemical Plant Zone. And she looked at me, and Sonic, and she looked at me and she said, what's Sonic? And I remember just being so disappointed. Like, that was that's one of my first, that's burned into my brain as a memory. Um, and I had a great kindergarten teacher. It's just that moment was funny because she was an older woman, so she didn't know what the fuck video games were. Um, but that's how long... Sonic has been like around for me um so to just see them and a lot of HD remasters are like really lazy where it's just like oh the character models are upscaled very slightly here it looks like the character models look better the levels look way better um they have like anniversary modes where it looks even better than what I was expecting um and I'm just, and they're doing animate, you could do, you, know, you could play Knuckles and Sonic 1, which I, was, I mentioned during the reaction, but I had a, a ga Game Gear is what it was called, right? 
it was like this cartridge you put into the Genesis and the top flopped up and you put another game into it. Um, and you could put um, Sonic 3 into the Game Gear and then it would like load it up and then swap it for Sonic 2. And you could play um, Knuckles in the Sonic 2 stages. But I don't even think you could play Knuck- I don't think you ever could have played Knuckles in the Sonic 1 stages. Um, at least back in the Genesis uh, Game Gear days. Now, I know that there have been, like, remasters done in this vein before. I know there was one on the Nintendo DS that I had. Um, but even though that was good, it had problems and it wasn't widescreen. And just playing those old games in widescreen is going to be so such a cool experience. Um, you could do it now with an emulator, but it's not the same. Like, you have to, you'd have to manually tweak quite a lot of things that are far beyond things that I want, to, want or care or know how to do. Um, so to just have those in there, it's like, whew. I can't wait to play it. Sonic CD again. I, like I said, I haven't played that in probably 20 years plus. And, um, man, they're, they're like animating like cutscenes, like in like the, the Sonic Mania style. That's fucking crazy. This is what an HD remaster should be. And I haven't even played the game yet, but just based on what they're showing, it's, it's awesome. Like, I'm so happy for this franchise after this long and the rocky road it's had where it's had very high highs and very low lows um to have like the amazing movie that just came out the best video game adaptation of all time um which is phenomenal um i saw it again it's just it's gets i it's great it's i stand by exactly what i said um i had a much better theater experience too so i actually cried twice this time after seeing it and knowing what was coming I, I lost it again at the Sonic uh, uh, at a scene at the end with uh, at a scene at the end. <laughs> so I don't want to spoil it. Um, but yeah, so that's I'm so hyped for that, especially after not to make this compare, not to make this like a compare everything to World of Warcraft, but especially after what I saw yesterday from that game. Um, damn. Sonic fans are eating good this year. I really hope Sonic Frontier is not a pile of garbage. It it has the high potential to be because Sonic Team doesn't really know how to do good games anymore, it seems. It's always these pixel remasters or these updated games or these new games done mostly like by fans and people passionate about it. Those are the best. Like Sonic Mania is maybe the best Sonic game ever made. And it was made by, like, passionate fans originally that Sega hired to be like, make this thing. We're doing Sonic Forces. But you can do your little 2D game. And then Sonic Forces fucking stunk. It wasn't bad, but it was not. It was subpar at best. And Sonic Mania just blew it the fuck out with how amazing it was. And um, I was always shocked. I was like, why are you not making a Sonic Mania 2? Do you know how much money that's making? that would make? But I guess they're, they probably had the team working on this, I guess? Who knows? Um, but regardless, I still want a Sonic Mania 2. I want more Sonic levels remastered and new ones made by that team because they're just great. So that's it. I am so hyped. It's going to be out in, what, two months? So this is always... I, I've come to realize the older that I get, this is how I like to see video game announcements where they're like, we're announcing a game. Here's a bunch of things about it. And here's a really good look at it. It's coming out in two months. Like, um, Resident Evil 8 did that, and 7 did that as well, where they were like, they didn't show anything for, like, a long time. And then they were like, here's a trailer showing a shitload of things. It's out in three months. I love that compared to stuff like, you know, Warcraft, where what they showed yesterday won't be out till probably, like, June of 2023. Or Kingdom Hearts does this a lot, too. Um, Kingdom Hearts 3 infamously did this, where they announced it, like, six years before it came out. And it's like, why... Don't show anything. Wait until like you don't have you don't have to build hype for these kinds of franchises. People will come for those franchises. Just wait until you have enough to show us to where it's almost done. That's how I like to do it. And I know that a game like this, like a remaster, is not on the same level of like a Kingdom Hearts three game. But it's just that's I like how these kind of I like the philosophy behind announcements that wait until it's almost out before they begin building hype because it reminds me of like movies and movies usually do it very well. You, they don't announce, like, unless you're James Cameron, they don't announce, like, Star Wars Episode Ten will be out in five years. 
here's the title and two seconds of a scene. Usually they don't do that. I mean, there are exceptions, but I I, I like this much more. Anyway, I'm rambling now, so I'm going to go. But let me know what you thought in the comments below. I am so excited to replay some of these classics from my childhood. And um, keep going, Sonic B team, or whatever team is behind this these in like Mania. You should be the A team because you're putting out the better content. But yeah, until then, guys, I'll see you. Have fun. Enjoy whatever you're playing. And yeah, farewell.